<laughs> this video is sponsored by sagex.store. S A G E X dot store. So if you guys are not aware, which I'm sure everyone is aware, Lil Durk has been arrested for murder. Allegedly, he was uh um is it true? Who am I to judge? I don't fucking know. It's not my business. But I will report on the news that I see publicly. This is, it keeps getting worse for Lil Durk by Poetic Flacco. Let's see what he has to say. Started off bad yesterday, and it's gotten a 100% worse ever since. Rapper Lil Durk is charged in a murder for hire plot. Lil Durk's real name is Dirk Bank, and he is from Chicago. This is his mugshot from Florida, where he was arrested last night and is being held without bond. This comes only hours after five people associated with... Do you think Lil Durk fell down to his knees when the law came? Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. With his music business, we're also accused in taking part in that murder for hire plot. Now, the plot targeted rapper Quando Rondo's cousin, who was killed in. 2022 investigators believe it was retaliation for the earlier murder of chicago rapper king vaughn we've been fed a lot of information since low dirk got picked up by the feds and we learn a lot from that information one of those things being that low dirk is one of the dumbest criminals of all time it don't get oh poetic flacco just said low dirk is one of the dumbest criminals of all time see flacco this is why everyone wants to fuck you up from the fucking west side to the goddamn east. When you give an opinion on certain people, you gotta relax, bro. You were you saying that shit when he was out of jail? That he's one of the dumbest criminals alive. If you were, then props to you and you stand in your ground. But why wait until he gets in jail to start talking all that shit? Don't wait till he's in jail. Be like Charleston Watt. Where that nigga, he he'll talk that shit out of prison, in prison, and in your face. Then hit you with the bear mace. Get much dumber than Lord Dirk and what he's being accused of doing. Now, Lord Dirk indictment got unsealed. And there were a couple of things that caught my eye. One of those things being like, so, so, so we thought that Lord Dirk was at least smart enough, right? To sort of create a barrier between him and the criminals. A lot of us thought so highly of Dirk and his intelligence because he don't say much. He's really calm. He's spiritual. So Dirk must be a mastermind who's 20 steps ahead of everybody. So when we heard that Lil Dirk has been accused of paying and hiring criminals to travel from Chicago on a plane to go to L.A. within a day to take out Quando Rondo, we thought, oh. Apparently, uh, apparently uh, Lil Dirk was booking tickets, uh, booking flights to go out of state. Uh, to go out of the country, fuck the state. He was trying to get out of the country. Uh, where was he trying to go? Lil Dirk was trying to go to. Do you remember where it was? Italy. He was trying to go to Italy. He was trying to get go to Italy, and he also had a place booked for. Do you remember? He had a place booked for a couple locations. Let's say that he was just trying to get the fuck up out of here. Now some speculate that he was trying to run out of the state, and I don't know if I believe that. I mean, if he had flights booked, that doesn't seem like someone who was trying to run from whatever they did. If someone's trying to escape, they would probably book one flight to one location. But I don't see them traveling to different locations and shit. Now, if the, the real question is, was it a round trip ticket? Did he have a round trip? If the nigga ain't have a round trip, he had no plans of returning. Okay, so he booked two commercial flights with one landing in Dubai and, and another in Switzerland. He bet he so he booked two commercial flights, one. He never made either flight. Uh, Can you send me that article you're reading? Okay, I have the link. So according to Bossip.com, which I've never heard of this website, I don't know its legitimacy, but everyone's talking about the little Dirk situation, so I'm sure they wouldn't sit here and fucking lie. On Thursday, Chicago rapper Lil Durk was arrested by U.S. Marshals on murder for hire charges. The guy was apparently s purchasing hits. He was a fucking, uh, he was sending hitmen out on people, apparently. 
stemming from a Los Angeles shooting targeting Quando Rondo. Reportedly, the shooting happened in retaliation for King Von's murder at the hands of Quando associate Lo Tem. Very few details were available upon his arrest, but now we have a better picture of the allegations against Dirk. The morning of his arrest, several associates from his OTF family, or only the family, isn't that what it stands for, were arrested in connection to the 2022 shooting in Los Angeles. DJ Academics posted, Lil Dirk has just been booked into Miami FDC, which is a federal detention center in Miami. He waived an identity hearing and is currently awaiting U.S. Marshals to transport him to Los Angeles, California, which should happen shortly. Uh, he should be in California, according to DJ Academics by now, if that was the case. His real name being Dirk Devante Banks, age 32, race, black, sex, male, located at Miami FDC currently. His release date is unknown, and that could be never. No offense to anyone out there. I mean, it's just facts. If he get, goes down for these bodies, he's not getting out. I don't see it. No bond, no nothing. And, A, hey, one thing that I did say is that I thought they were going to give Lil Dirk bond. They didn't give him bond at all. Yeah, no, he can't bond. No, there's no bail. Now, his lawyers are trying to fight for bond, uh, but his his team's like, nah. To them, the fact that he already had flights booked, they deem Lil Dirk to be a flight risk. And is he a flight risk? I don't know. I, I think it's easy when someone's done a crime and they're booking flights to different locations to say that they were trying to run. I mean, didn't Lil Dirk turn himself in or was that a different situation? Because he was on the news where he turned himself in. He surrendered, turned himself in. Oh, this was five years ago. Yeah, this was five years ago he turned himself in. I mean, I guess after five years, nothing ever happened from that. So, yeah, no, sorry. I confused the wrong situation. That was a different situation. According to the Chicago Tribune, Lil Dirk allegedly planned to flee the country to avoid arrest. In a wild case of life comes at you fast, Dirk went from receiving keys to the city of Chicago to planning to flee the country. He received keys to the city of Chicago. Is there a video of this? So, is that uh, what that whole J. Cole thing was about? Dirk, you told me he'd been on some positive shit. Yeah, yeah. They were trying to put out some positive music so the courts didn't deem him as a demon when he did go to court. That was a longevity move. That wasn't a short-term move. That was for the courts. So they could play all my life, all my life. I've been buying hits. I've been sending out hits. <laughs> Chicago suburb withdraws Lil Dirk key to the village. They, they took his keys away. They gave him the key and took it. They took his keys. They took, they, they took him for his keys. Nigga, give me this key back, nigga. You knew this was temporary. Hey, at least he's, he can say he got it, though. He had the key to the city for a little bit. And if you get the key to the city, you're the king of the city. You get the key to the city, you're the king. He got the key to the city for a temporary amount of time. He might have lost that crown, but he had it for a second. It's quite the accomplishment. I never had a key to a city. I had keys in the city. <laughs> I, I lived in the city with the key. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I they didn't take my keys. I lost mine. What what if <laughs> what if you do have like the ultimate key when you get the key to the city, like you can unlock any door you want? Yeah, the key to the city was small as fuck. They don't give a fuck about Chicago. That's as big as y'all's keys can get. Like this big, basically. Yeah, no, no, they, it was so small you could put it on a plaque. Oh, it was literally up. Oh. Man. They said, no, this is the key, not to the city. This is the key to your city. This is the key to Chirac. That small area, this is the small key for your area. This is what you get. And they took it anyway. Yeah, this is the key to your city, not my city. This is the, your little area right there. <laughs> he took his shit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago rapper Lil Durk has been arrested in Florida on a murder for hire charge. Little Dirk, whose real name is Dirk Devante Banks, is being held without bail. Five men from Chicago connected to his record label have also been picked up. They're accused of being hired to kill a rival rapper, Rondo Rondo, in 2022 for his alleged role in the killing of Chicago Hill rapper King Vaughn two years earlier. Prosecutors say flights and rental cars tie the label to the crime. And Banks was once charged in a shooting in Atlanta. However, those charges got dropped.
He's also facing a lawsuit from FBG Duck's mom, who says banks and his record label made money from her son's murder. So if you didn't just hear that, uh, FBG Duck's mom is also suing Lil Durk for the murder of her son. Oh, she's suing him, not technically for murdering FBG Duck, but for profiting off her son's death and causing her a bunch of mental trauma from it. Well, last week, the mayors of suburban Broadview and Bellwood presented the rapper with keys to their villages in partnership with his Neighborhood Heroes Foundation, which supports Chicago youth by promoting education and violence prevention. In a Facebook post, Broadview Mayor Katrina Thompson said she's withdrawing that key and ending the village's partnership with his foundation. The statement reading in part, while the American system of justice grants everyone the presumption of innocence until proven guilty in a court of law, in the village of Broadview, the court of public opinion of residents has even higher moral and ethical standards of behavior. As mayor, protecting Broadview's interests in a... Shut the fuck up, bitches. Y'all bitch-ass organization. I'm gonna tell y'all why they a bitch-ass organization. Even higher moral and ethical standards of behavior. As they said, fuck the courts. The public opinion matters more to us than the courts. Why? Because we often feel that the court systems, the way they handle things, are often not the way the public will handle things. And the public usually disapproves of the judicial system more than the judicial, judicial system itself. So here's my point. The public opinion matters most, which is the reason why we're ending our partnership with Lil Durk. Well, if that was the case and public opinion mattered and, and all the efficacies of the citizenship and all that shit, why did you partner with someone who was already rapping about killing people, gangbanging, murdering, and all type of shit like that? Why did you already partner with that? Then he goes to jail and what? You're surprised? You got to end ties? Was the goal to work with a popular rapper or was the goal to actually do child prevention from getting into gangs and gang prevention and all that stuff? Because even if Lil Durk was arrested, why would you end ties with an organization that's still meant to do good? If the organization is still meant to do good, why take that away just because Lil Durk is in jail? Because you're full of fucking shit, bitch. You're full of fucking the face shouldn't stop the mission, bitch. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he fucked up, but separate him from the business, bitch. Then we can continue doing the gang prevention and stuff. To take that out is like, damn, well, 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 the gang prevention unit is gone. Let's get guns again. We might as well fill the street with roaches again. You might as well put a liquor store and a gun store right now, right where you leave. Leave them a little gift on the way out. Give everyone a free tombstone on your way out. As mayor, protecting Broadview's interests and upholding the values of residents is job number one. So that was that. Lil Durk got his keys to the village snatched away, which I didn't even know. That's just a random fact that I just heard randomly. He, he got the, I didn't even know he got the keys to the city. Then he got it snatched away. They took his key. Imagine robbing Lil Durk. You actually finally caught up with him. You actually get a chance to rob Lil Durk. He has nothing in his wallet but a key to the city. Y'all gave a nigga a key to the city. How do you just take it away? We're going to invalidate his key. Bitch, it was already just a medallion. He already got a copy in his house. How do you snatch the key? Let's actually just review what everybody had to say about it. You know, no, I'm not, I'm not putting, I'm no, I'm not putting, I'm, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not putting, I'm no, I'm not, just listen to me here. If Lil Durk is going to jail for the sliding of King Vaughn, it kind of sucks. Because King Vaughn, no offense to anybody, really. But King Vaughn was the domino that took everyone down. And, it, well, 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 I guess I could say there are alleged snitching allegations. So, there, on one side, people could say, no, there was a snitch that told on Lil Durk. And that's what got him in this situation. But on another side, it's like, you know, just... In another realm, if King Von didn't get out that car to fight uh, Quando Rondo and Lil Tim didn't shoot and instead he fought or none of that happened at all, there would be no sliding for Von. Lil Dirk wouldn't have needed to feel like he needed to get pressured by society to fight slide for Von. And then none of this would be happening. Maybe they'd still go to jail for other stuff, maybe other crimes, but it wouldn't be for sliding for Von, bro. And, um, uh, it was interesting. The Calico Bros is coming out where we did review a video of Walla warning Lil Durk about sliding for Vaughn and about the importance of forgiving your opposition, the importance of letting go, letting let live, let it live and let it be. Is Lil Durk taken down by the feds, accused of sliding for Vaughn by paying for murder for hire?
Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. Oh, I'm sure you guys are aware this is 1090 Jake. He's usually the guy who re talks about who's the snitches. When people want to know who's a snitch, they go to 1090 Jake. Hey, do you got the papers? Is he really a snitch? What do you think? You know, he's become the pope of uh, defining what a snitch is, I guess. Keep in mind, everything I'm about to speak on is alleged by the feds. Now let's get into it. I'm saying though, they got 63rd niggas, some dirty ass niggas, man. We've been ready. On 6 so we've been ready to put a, yeah, another nigga, yeah, under, yeah. Who? Quando's a little boy. I used to have him like this. Saying fuck 63rd, me and Vaughn. There's video of this? Google it. No! No! <laughs> They be seeing Sly for Vaughn. I think they trolling me. For some reason, I just don't see no comments no more. Thursday, October 24th, 2024, Chicago rapper Dirk Banks, AKA Lil Dirk, was taken into custody by US Marshals in Broward County, Florida on one charge of murder for hire. Hours earlier, an indictment was unsealed out of Los Angeles, charging five Chicago men with the 2020 Broad Day murder of 24-year-old Savaya Robinson, who was more commonly known as Lil Pab, the cousin of Georgia rapper Quando Rondo. See all that broken glass there? That's where the escalators park. They're getting gas when all of a sudden the windows are blown out by gunfire. They're under attack by bullets flying all over the place. To the left, Mike, you'll give you a look. See all those white evidence markers on the ground? Each one of those is by a shell casing. Gives you an idea how many rounds are fired. Police say in that alleyway, the white vehicle pulls up. Three men get out, and they start firing at will, blasting away, targeting that black SUV, the rapper, and his second person inside. Once that SUV is hit by the gunfire, they take off, they hit the gas, and they drive a few blocks away into West Hollywood. They wind up stopping over at Santa Monica and San Vicente, right in the very heart of West Hollywood. They pull over there because the wounds to the man who was hit inside the Escalade too severe. He's bleeding. They pull over. 911 is called. Paramedics rush in. They take the injured man who's hit by gunfire to the ER. He does not make it, does not survive. Of the five men indicted, Didi, Vani, and Boogie. Yeah, if you uh, also didn't know, which I'm sure you did, Quando Rondo had a cousin named Lil Tim, and uh, he got slid on. They were aiming for Quando Rondo, and they ended up hitting Lil Tim, and only him, and he's the only one that died. Would be identified as members or associates of OTF, a record label formed in 2010 by Lil Durk. The indictment would state on November 6, 2020, Davon Bennett, aka King Vaughn, a high-ranking member of OTF got into a physical altercation with Taekwon Bowman, aka Quando Rondo, at a nightclub in Atlanta, Georgia. During the fight, an associate of Quando named Lil Tim pulled out a gun and shot Vaughn multiple times, killing him. After the murder, a man only identified as co-conspirator one made it clear to OTF Didi and three other unnamed men that he would pay a bounty to anyone who took part in killing Quando for his role in Vaughn's death. Goddamn, we'll pay for anybody who will take place in the killing. Allegedly, from what I heard all over the place, anybody who had a D-block chain or uh, some OTF chain or whatever, or alleged, 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 allegedly, killers. And that you don't get a chain unless you put in work, some type of work. You know, they was just handing out rewards like participation trophies and shit. He'd communicate this hit in coded language. OTF Didi, the cousin of Lil Durk, would... He said they communicated that shit in coded language. What sort of codes could they get? You know, I've tried to make codes many a times. And anytime I've tried to make my own little secret codes and stuff, I've always thought, what makes me think I'm so smart? I'm smart enough to make a code that no one could crack. You know, especially a gang member from the trenches. What makes them think that they're smart enough to come up with some hidden code that the feds couldn't take, that a fucking toddler couldn't solve? It'd be elementary. Double down offering anyone responsible for Kwando's death lucrative music opportunities on top of the money being promised. 
Two years later, it was now August 18th, 2022. The conspirators learned that Quando was staying at a hotel in Los Angeles. OTF Didi would recruit two gang members from Chicago that were unaffiliated with OTF, named Flocka and Brown Eyes. Didi would have co-conspirator 3 purchase them tickets from Chicago to San Diego by using an OTF credit card. Didi would confirm all three of them had the same airline tickets and would send a message on Instagram saying, on my way to LA. Didi and another OTF associate known as Boogie would travel with Flocka, Brown Eyes, and a man only known as co-conspirator number two from Chicago to San Diego with the plan to kill Quando Rondo. That same day, OTF Vaughn traveled by private jet from Miami to LA to facilitate the hit. Vaughn, who could be seen shopping at Icebox with King Vaughn back in 2020, would be seen shopping again, but this time obtaining cars, ski masks. I just imagine the thought process of a person who just got a ticket purchased for them to go kill somebody. Like, what are you thinking on your way to go do that? Like, you're you're in the airport with your bags and you're like, okay, I'm about to go to this other state and kill somebody. What are your, what is your thought process? Like, what are you thinking in the moment? Are you sitting there thinking like, Hey, this is the final countdown till my life is thrown away. This is the final countdown till I die. This is the final countdown till the final crash out. Like, what are you guys, just, what are your thoughts? Are you enjoying it? Like, yeah, I can't wait to get down there and kill this motherfucker. I'm going to get away with it. It's going to be good for me. I'm going to be in a trap house again. Like, what are y'all's thoughts? And guns for the hit team. Landing in San Diego, Didi and his team would drive to Los Angeles County meeting up with Vonnie, who purchased four black ski masks from a sporting goods store in Los Angeles County using cash. Once again using an OTF credit card, Vonnie would book a hotel room at the Universal City Hotel. Vonnie would provide the hit team with guns, including a 10mm Glock with a switch. He'd also provide a white BMW and a white Infiniti with a fake license plate. With no time to waste, the hit team would get right to work, traveling to Quando's hotel to find, track, and kill him. But they'd have no luck. It wouldn't be until the next day they'd spot Quando's black Escalade. They'd follow Quando to a marijuana dispensary and then a clothing store. God damn. So this is Quando Rondo right uh, here? Either this is Quando Rondo right here. And that's them in the back or something like that. Like, hold on. Let me let me see something. The below image shows the BMW and Infinity following the black Escalade. Oh, so these two cars were following a black Escalade. You ever seen that footage of FBG duck dying? It's almost like the same thing. It's like they it's like two cars traveling down the street grouped up, bro. So always keep that as a life lesson. You see one car full of people, there's probably a second. You see one assailant, there's probably another one right next to you, down the street, across the street, watching out to make sure that they're good from afar. Don't ever think that just because you got one person down that you're good. You got to check the vicinity. Look around. Waiting for the right moment. I also think that if you're a gang member and stuff like that and shit like that, like a sh King Von and stuff dying just happened, you shouldn't be out there in the streets willy-nilly out there. You just kill, like... Y'all y'all camp just killed King Vaughn. Y'all shouldn't be out in the streets parlaying cuz you're such a, you're so hot right now in the, in the eyes of the media that everybody's going to be taking videos of you, which means you're bound to get caught eventually just from someone else recording you wholeheartedly like, "Hey, Quando Rondo, I'm a fan." blah blah blah. They're like, "Oh, they're near the Chuck E. Cheese on 5th Avenue and Saxon 5th." About to go get his ass right now. These niggas are traveling hours to kill people. They travel hours to kill Julio Fulio. They travel hours to kill Quando Rondo. They're traveling hours to kill people. To kill people. Traveling hours to throw their lives away. On, in broad daylight. In 4K. The people that killed FBG Doug did it in 4K. Broad daylight. They don't give a fuck no more. Broad daylight ain't stopping nobody from doing shit these days. They want you. They gonna get you. They want you. They coming. You can't stop it, but you can shoot and fight back as much as you can. That's why I'm. That's why I fear for for Charleston White. Charleston White talking all that goddamn shit. 
and he's still in the public eye. It's only a matter of time. He said, they're going to have to get me in Atlanta with their monkey ass. Well, they're going to get you in Atlanta. They will travel hours. They just got to know where you are. They just got to know where you're at. They're going to put the boots on, the Timberland, the foam posits, whatever the fuck these niggas wearing, black, all black, Nike, high top, low tops, don't matter. They're coming for you. And I'm going to be right there with them. Went to strike. The feds were able to pull surveillance photos of the two vehicles tracking the Escalade, which eventually pulled into a gas station. We'll never know the conversation that took place inside of that car, but they decided at that moment, it was time to take action. Boogie would park inside an alley next to the gas station as the three shooters exited the vehicle, ambushing the Escalade and opening fire. Quando Rondo was inside of the vehicle with his sister as gunfire erupted, while Lil Pab had been standing next to it outside. Bullets would shatter glass, pierce metal, and push through flesh. Oh, I always believed that somebody pulled up to Quando Rondo beside the vehicle, let off shots from the window into his car. Lil Pab was sitting on like the left side of the window, and only he got killed. And then uh, Quando Rondo saw it happen and held him in the arms. He got out the car and started screaming when the cops got there and when he noticed he was dead or some shit. But no, 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 no. They're standing outside in at a gas station, at a gas pump. Get out the car. Lil Tim is standing beside the car. Quando Rondo standing, uh, is sitting in the car or something like that, or he's near the car regardless. Lil Tim gets shot because he's standing on the outside. They continue to shoot, but he's the only one that gets hit, and he's the only one down, and he's the only one that dies. Uh, they get away for about a day or so. They got caught eventually. They got caught. But uh, they got away for a little bit, and uh, now we're here. Leaving Pab on the ground as the shooters fled. Now dying, Pab would be placed back inside of the Escalade as they drove off, only making it less than a mile away before flagging down the police. CPR would fail, and Quando would be left screaming out as he just witnessed his cousin get gunned down the same way the world witnessed King Vaughn go out. By now, the shooters had fled in the getaway vehicle, later traveling to a burger restaurant to discuss payment. The shooters would be driven back down to San Diego and flown back to Chicago that same night, with OTFDD paying the shooters an undisclosed amount on behalf of co-conspirator number one. With his arrest being announced, it's believed none of An undisclosed amount? Was it a hundred thousand? A hundred thousand seems to be the minimum and maximum rate you're probably going to get for the murder. Minimum rate is whatever they can get it for cheaper. But the maximum rate is probably a hundred k. I imagine the cheaper you pay somebody, the likelihood of them snitching on you goes up. None other than Lil Dirk will soon be identified as co-conspirator one, and held responsible by the federal government for having members of OTF recruit a hit team, travel across state lines, and commit murder for hire. Under federal law, this would mean Lil Durk is possibly facing federal execution as the death penalty may apply. If sought by federal prosecutors, the only way to escape federal death would be by taking a plea deal for a life sentence in federal prison. Since the death of King Vaughn, Dirk would be consistently trolled online by three words, slide for Vaughn. Every time Dirk says something online, you got all these fans and trolls telling him to, you know, slide for Vaughn. King Vaughn got killed and Lil Dirk didn't slide for Vaughn, which is like a, a meme online. And they're like, we like young boy because, you know, like these kids like really believe that they're a part of these real situations. Well, yeah. And these kids are out here just saying this shit like. What the Vaughn fuck died. Doing? So why I don't is Dirk know, not sliding? I don't but, know no I politics. Slide on nigga, okay, lady, and listen, why is this nigga not sliding on niggas? Well, how you man? know what they doing? Just because it ain't publicized. Those three words would gain hundreds of thousands. I mean, Takashi Six Nine ain't gonna lie. You look dumb now. I mean, <laughs> he doesn't look dumb because Dirk slid. I mean, Dirk is in jail. What I mean is that you look dumb now. You said, how come this nigga ain't sliding for Vaughn? Yelling and screaming your ass off. The nigga was sliding for Vaughn. Now you see. Maybe that's what, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like a DJ Academics and Brandon Buckingham situation. Encourage the person to slide. Encourage the person to get back out on the field. Because if they die or go to jail, 
there's no loss for you anyways. And they, even if they're like, ah, I told you I was sliding for Vaughn. It's like, well, you're in jail now. So who really won, right? So and Takashi 6 9 I don't know, man. He was right. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to say he was right. I meant to say he was wrong. He was wrong. They were sliding for Vaughn. Thousands of views, and Trap Lord Ross would even document multiple attempts made on Kwando's life since Vaughn's death in a video titled Sliding for Vaughn. With College Kid breaking the news of the five men indicted for the murder of Lil Pab, he'd include a clip of No Jump as Brick Baby previously speaking on the topic. Oh, uh, yeah, Sly for Vaughn, right? Nobody. Yeah. They say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh, yeah, because of. I heard Wack 100 had a problem with Brick Baby saying that, you know, they said they say they can't say that anymore, that they can't say that they can't say slide for Vaughn anymore. Brick Baby basically giving the implication, it's the implication, that deed has been done, that they slid for Vaughn already, and that they don't need to do that anymore, and that uh, allegedly that at the time that it was over. Wack 100 had a problem with that, saying that that's basically snitching, and that that's not allowed. Uh, you can't be doing shit like that, as according to the streets. You can't be saying who, like who, who was Brick Baby to be telling people or saying that the beef is over, he, the sliding is done. No one needs to say anything anymore, you know. And that's just what I've been hearing through the grapevine. Wait, no, wait, no, no, like they who died? Say you can't say that no more. Oh, cause of FBG Cash? Oh, who? Nah, cause Lil Pop. Oh, what's that? But I'm just saying, they just say. So Flacco does this thing where he uh always tries to act a fucking. Re he always tries to act like he doesn't understand what people are saying. That he acts clueless. And again, like he said himself, that he learned it from academics because academics be acting clueless as fuck. I be watching him all the time, act like he didn't know something, he didn't hear something, and it really pisses me off because it's like. If you, you know what you're doing, and I get it as journalism, but it, it, you could do better than that. If your approach is so apparent that it, it's just so obvious what you're doing, you need to change your approach. Journalism is, is a little bit about subtlety as well. The person you're interviewing shouldn't understand that you're fucking with them. You know what I mean? They, should, they shouldn't understand that you're trying to push for certain information immediately. And the way you go about things, acting clueless, like, huh, what do you mean? He gave you a disease? Huh? Was it from his dick? Like it's just shit like that. Just it just it's distasteful. Hey, you can't say that no more. That's the new term. Uh, like no more slide for mine. Because of little pop. Now after that incident, though, being that this is a federal murder case and will likely be pursued as a death penalty case, we can expect this to take years before a final sentence. More details will be coming to light, as well as more arrests because every unnamed conspirator in this indictment is about to be taken into custody. It's almost guaranteed Dirk will not be granted any type of pretrial release, and this could very well be the end of the rapper's career and freedom, an ending almost predicted in his song. Well, do you want Lil Dirk to go to jail, yes or no? Do you think he did it, yes or no? And do you think that he will be in jail for the rest of his life? And even if he did do it do you think he's going to get the death penalty red man now like i said in the video i mean i'm not gonna sugarcoat it this might be the end of Lil dirk he just got indicted by the feds for a charge that carries execution i don't see how he could get a plea i don't see why they would give him a plea i don't see how his lawyers no matter how much money he puts forward would be able to get him out of this situation. And there's a lot of important things being left out of this. We don't know how the feds found out about that conversation that he allegedly had, or co-conspirator one allegedly had. We don't know the amount of money the shooters were allegedly paid. We don't know a lot of these things because a lot of details have yet to come out. And they're going to. We'll be able to make a better judgment on things as more evidence is released. Obviously, more arrests are going to be made because the other co-conspirators haven't been named because they're not in custody. We're gonna f 
You think if 1090 Jake dies, they're going to put this same background music on his video? Like, if 1090 Jake dies, they're going to put this background music on, on his shit. 1090 Jake was caught lacking at a corner store at the donut shop. Find out if anybody's snitching. Yeah, you got that drill music in the background, Gotham music in the back. This is going to get deep. This is going to play out similar to the old block FBG duck case. This is going to take years to solve. And then all the evidence is going to be released. The videos, the pictures, everything. But this right. is a major blow to hip hop. This is a major blow to Chicago, to Lil Durk. It is a major blow to hip hop. It is a major blow to hip hop. But a major blow doesn't always mean it's a negative blow. The Twin Towers, for example, positive. No, 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 no. I'm joking. Oh my God. Oh, I'm joking. Uh, I'm about cutting it out. <laughs> no, uh, because like I was saying in the Calico Bros, right? The more gang members that are exterminated from the industry, the more chance regular creative individuals can feel safer in the music industry we can put forth our best and we don't have to worry about making super hard music for kids who ain't gonna do shit you know what i mean instead we just we can go back to our creative ways get back to our creative juices niggas fucking don't gotta feel like they gotta talk all that hard shit the gangbangers run the fuck out that industry more than you think and uh the more we can get them out of the way legally I think the better for the industry, personally. That's just me. I don't give a fuck what people say. You can argue with me all day long. I mean, gang members are ruining the industry. They always have. And uh, just it's never done any good for anybody. Man, I fell down till my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down till my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down till my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down till my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down till my knees when the law came. Man, I fell down till my knees when the law came.